Hi guys, welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title, this one is going to be my shopping tips for shopping at Zara. So I'm sure you guys know that most of my clothing is from Zara, hence I shop a lot at Zara. And through all my Zara shopping, I have picked up some sort of tips and tricks that I follow and I thought it would be cool to share that with you guys today. So let's just get right into it. My first tip, and sort of my tip that I live by is to either shop online or shop in store when I know that there aren't gonna be a lot of people. And for me at my local Zara store, that is on a Monday. On a Monday, it's very quiet at my Zara or otherwise in the early mornings. But I have to be honest, I do do most of my shopping online. Uh, where I live, you can sort of pay after you've received your items. So I think that is a great um, sort of nudge that pushed me over to shop more online. Shopping online can be tricky sometimes though because you don't really know how the material feels in your hand or how the fit looks in real life. What I do in those cases is on the Zara website you can actually scroll down and check the availability in a store close to you by filling in the city name of the city in which you live. So I'll do that for some items if I'm not really 100% sure about the online item and then I'll just go into store and another little trick is to write down the reference number for that piece that you are looking for and that way if you show the reference number in store then they'll be able to find it for you very quickly. Shopping this way sort of helps me avoid the huge crowds that Zara does pull and it helps me make better shopping decisions because if you are in store and there's a whole lot of people and a lot of stuff happening around you, sometimes it can be hard to focus on what you are actually buying and I have actually myself bought some stuff uh, in store when it was very busy. When I got home I was like, um, why did I buy this? And then I had to return it. So I think avoiding the crowds or shopping Shopping online helps me clear my mind and sort of really think about the purchases that I am doing. Also when I shop online sometimes I'll keep stuff in my shopping cart for a couple of days and with Zara um, that is a possibility. On a lot of websites things sort of disappear from your shopping cart if you go offline or go off the website and don't go on for a couple of days but the Zara stuff actually stays in your shopping cart so that is a great little bonus thing that I really like about their website. Moving on to tip number two and that is to uh, go to the store or on the on the website very often because Zara is an extremely fast fashion store and they get lots of stock in all the time and um, sort of to find those gems in between you have to know when when their new stock is in and check out that new stock. So I know there's a lot of myths online about the Tuesday and Thursday sort of theory. I don't know if you guys have heard that, but I think about a year ago, someone claimed online that they get their new stock in on Tuesday and Thursday, at least on their website. And I have actually checked this out and I haven't found it to be true. Yesterday was Wednesday and I went on their website and they had a buttload of new stuff. So just check whenever you you sort of have time or feel like checking it out. I personally go on their website I think almost every day. I know that's really bad but I can't help it. I just love Zara stuff so much and I like to be on top of when they have new items in because if a, a piece, a specific piece that comes in is like really popular then it will often be sold out very quickly. So I like to just keep an eye on when their new stuff is in. Another thing I have to say about new items is that if you look in the categories sort of you can go to trousers or jeans or whatever they don't actually put the new stuff at the top they just spread it out in between the old stuff so scroll down and you will see the new stuff sort of in between all the old stuff if you aren't checking out the new in page my final thing I want to say about new items is that everything that is styled on the Zara website will eventually show up for sale. So for example, I have been eyeing this awesome little faux fur jacket and it has not showed up yet online, but I am waiting for it to because I know that it will eventually. My third tip is to mark your calendars for the biannual sales. Now the summer sale 
uh, usually starts around the second last Thursday of June. So this year that was the 22nd of June and last year that was the 23rd of June. So just sort of keep an eye out around that time for the summer sale to start and the winter sale always starts the day after Christmas. So my tips for shopping in the sale are could be again another whole separate video but what I want to say right now is to just stick for more basic items that you know you can style a ton of different ways and that are sort of timeless pieces when you buy in the sale because if you buy really trendy pieces in sale they might be totally out of trend by the time you get to wear them so yeah my tip is to buy sort of the basic timeless pieces in or on sale also if you don't feel like waiting for the buy annual sales a good tip is to check out the sort of category they recently introduced which is the special prices page on their website for example i don't know if you guys know about those slides with the pearls on them but they were super popular and they were i think i think around 60 euros which is a ton of money and they are now in the special prices section for only 20 bucks so yeah keep an eye out for the special prices uh, page on their website another thing to keep in mind and this is my fourth tip for shopping at Zara is that the fit might not look good on everyone there's a whole bunch of super tall super skinny models on their website modeling all of the clothes and let's face it we don't all look like that so keep that in mind when shopping and what I personally always do is scroll down to the bottom of all the pictures and usually there will be a flat layer picture of the uh, item uh, sort of as the final picture and I always uh, personally look at this because I know personally for myself that if a um, a sleeve is too bat wing then it's not going to look good on me and also to see in um, how far a shirt is sort of cropped or long so i recommend everyone scrolling down to the bottom of the page and checking out the flat lay of an item before putting it into your shopping cart my fifth tip and this is actually maybe more for in-store purchases but that is to keep your receipt for 30 days and obviously you get an email with a receipt so keep if you order online so keep Keep that email for at least 30 days because Zara has an awesome return policy I return a lot of stuff at Zara and they have a 30-day window in which you can return stuff so yeah keep your receipt and then if you end up not wearing something um, as much as you would like or not wearing it at all in the first 30 days then you can always decide to return it to the store for a refund but you do really need your receipt otherwise they will not give you a refund my final sort of rule that I live by when shopping at Zara is if you find the piece and you guys know what I mean with the piece uh, Zara introduces a couple of pieces each season that are super high quality and really detailed and just super beautiful and these items usually end up trending and they do often sell out but if you find this piece then don't hesitate just buy it and don't look back you probably won't regret it and even if you do you can always return it within the first 30 days so yeah okay these are all my tips and tricks that I live by when shopping at Zara as I said I shop at Zara way too much but we won't talk about that now I hope you guys liked this video and found it useful and if you did I would love it if you would like and comment down below and if you haven't yet please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video